Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at coercion. Now, basically what this means is, let's say you have a sub or a function, and you want the user to be able to pass either an integer or a double to it. Now, you could make two functions, one that uses an integer and one that uses a double, and have a different name for each of them but that can get a little confusing later on so what you want to do in this situation is use what's called coercion now let's go ahead and make a little demo application for this so we'll go ahead and select windows forms application and we will call it coercion and go ahead and click OK so we'll wait for that to load and once that loads, we'll go ahead and open up our toolbox and add a button to it. Now I'll set the text value of this to coercion demo and we'll set the name to button coercion. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just make this a little bit bigger and we'll double click on our button. And this will open up the code that handles the click event of button coercion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a sub down here. So we'll start off by creating private sub and then we'll just um, call it show data type and we'll, for the arguments we'll type byval num as integer and we'll go ahead and press enter so now what we're going to do is we're going to type message box dot show and we'll just type this is an integer so the user is going to pass an integer to this sub right here and it's going to tell them that it's an integer now what we can do is we can make a copy of this sub so we'll start off by typing private sub show data type and instead of using an integer for our arguments we will type byval num as double and we'll go ahead and hit enter and then we'll type message box dot show this is a double okay so now we have two copies of the same sub and one handles an integer and another handles a double. So what we can do is we can come up here and we will create a variable. So we'll declare my num as double and we'll set it equal to 23.4. And now what we'll do is we'll type show data type and for the argument of that we're going to pass my num to it. So now if we go ahead and run this you can see that form one opens up and here's our button and if we go ahead and click on coercion demo it's gonna say this is a double now let's go back here and make this an integer and we'll set it equal to 23 and if we run this again and click coercion demo it says this is an integer so basically what we did here is we created two subs with the same name but we have different arguments for it. One has passes a an integer to it and another passes a double. So whenever we call this sub right here and put a variable in it or a number, what Visual Basic is going to do for you is it's going to automatically select the sub that's going to work best for what you've given. So since this was is an integer, it's going to automatically select integer. And so this since um if we create a double right here it's going to automatically select double so you can make as many of those as you want and uh, go ahead and practice with some coercion uh, making multiple copies of one sub or function and using different data types in the parameters and then once you've got that down and you're not going to forget it go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching